Hi, my name is Rebecca, and in today's lesson, I'm going to show you a number of words and expressions that you can use when you want to generalize about something, when you want to speak about something in general. Okay, so let's look at them. Uh, they're very useful when you're discussing uh, an issue with someone or if you're writing an essay or a paper about something. You can certainly use these uh, transition kind of words and these expressions. Here we go. Okay, so here's the first one. Overall, okay, you can also practice pronouncing them after me if you like. Overall, generally, basically, all in all, on the whole, okay? So all of these mean that you're going to make a statement which is a general statement or comment or remark. So for example, you could start with something like this. Overall, I believe the situation is out of control. Now you don't have to say this part. You could just say overall, the situation is out of control. But you could add this if you're saying that it, if you want to qualify it and explain that that's your perspective and your view. Okay? Uh, and you can do that with any of them. Generally, I think the government has misspent our money. Misspent means spent it in the wrong way or in a bad way. All right. Here are some other expressions you can use when you want to indicate that you are generalizing about something. You could say, by and large, okay, by and large, it means the same thing like in general, okay, or broadly speaking, broadly speaking, in general, or for the most part, I feel the storm has passed, okay? Last one, essentially, right? Essentially, I would say the crisis has been averted. Has been averted means the crisis has been avoided. We managed to avoid it or prevent it from happening, okay? So, these are the important words you need to know if you want to generalize. And this is how you could continue a sentence once you have used one of these words or expressions. Okay? If you'd like to practice doing this, which is probably a really good idea, go to our website, www.ingvid.com. There you'll be able to do a quiz on this subject, as well as uh, watch lots of other videos on many other topics in English. Okay? Thank you very much. Good luck with your English.